Hello and welcome back to Sunflower Nursery. This next haul is from All's Nursery. Uh, she is an artist and she also does sell clothes as well. Um, I have a couple of her cards here. She always packs everything up really, really super nice and she always includes these cards for me. Let's see, can that focus? That's her information. Ginger Kelly, she's an artist and owner. Yes, she does paint reborns. And yes, she does sell really nice boutique clothing. I hope you all can see that. Here's another one of her cards and some of her babies that she has painted. And there's a little information on her and another one of her little babies. I found her on Facebook because she was selling clothing that I liked. She will occasionally do a Facebook uh, live where she sells clothes and where she's just painting or rooting her baby's hair that she is doing. Let me get a cup of a drink of coffee here. Hold on. That is one thing I'm a little curious about. How long does it take you all to get set up for a video? To do videos. It usually takes me about 30 minutes. I've got to grab whichever baby that I'm wanting and the boppy and the blanket and stuff like that. And I bring them in here and I, of course, clean off the surface that I'm putting them on even though there's a blanket obviously under them. I don't like to get their stuff dirty. Then I make me some coffee, and then I get my dogs their clean, fresh water after washing their bowls and their food, and let the dogs out, and let them use the bathroom, and come back in here, and then get the tripod set up, and my phone set up. It really does take me some time. Uh, this morning, it took me about an hour. Uh, but I also was dawdling, and I was getting things in here so I wouldn't have to get up and go get things and come back and to do the videos that I'm doing because I am doing several videos. But anyways, I know it does take me a little bit of time. Uh, anyways, let's get to this because I do have other stuff to do today. Not a whole lot, but just some stuff. I know I don't know if I've already did a video on this. I have already opened this guy, so it, I'm not She's, like I said, she's always got this presented very pretty, very, she's always got a real pretty thank you sticker on there. And, but I've already done looked at this. Um, I didn't get to do an Easter thing this year. It's, it just got too hectic and there was a lot going on around Easter time. That was when my youngest daughter's sweet 16th birthday was. It was the day before and. Anyways, I just didn't get a chance to do it. I do apologize. But anyways, here's a little outfit that I had gotten. The girls. Um, it's just as sweet as it can be. And I've got it from this lady. That's the haul that I'm doing. And here's a bow that came with it. Absolutely adorable. I will at eventually attach it to one of these little headbands. But... absolutely adorable now this lady lets me buy a few outfits at a time and she holds on to them because I don't want to spend a lot in shipping and I don't want them to waste a bunch of boxes and all this stuff because I'm trying to be you know a little greener on stuff and here's a little Peter Pan bubble romper it's got the cute little blue and white polka dot it pockets here with the little buttons on them uh, that look wooden real cute 
And there's the back of it. Ain't it just, it's adorable. I'll have plenty of Easter outfits next year. Um, I am, I do take a fancy to knit stuff, you all. So when I seen this cute little color outfit, I couldn't resist because that, that outfit, that color just it looks good on Sarah with her skin tone it really does and then here's the diaper cover that goes with it so I got that little knit outfit I have a fancy to of keeping her in knit outfits because I can you all she she's not a real baby it's not gonna get tore up so My daughter, actually, she came in and she's wanting a baby. She's wanting to get married and she's wanting to eventually have a baby. And I just hope she actually does get to have a baby. I know that they'll, they'll adopt even if she doesn't get to. My oldest one is in the military, you all. And they were forced to take the COVID shots. And before any, I get backlash on this. Each is your own on the COVID shots. I do not hold it against you if you took the COVID shot. I don't, you know, each his own. I personally didn't. That was a choice I made for myself. And yes, I have gotten COVID twice. The second time it almost did kill me. Uh, but I was coming out of surgery. Whenever I had gotten it, I had gotten it a couple of days after my surgery. So, that's the reason why it did get me as bad as it did but bear in mind you all I'm not one that takes flu shots either yes I did take my shots growing up yes I gave my kids their shots as they were growing up no I do not believe in taking flu shots but that's me I don't hold it against you if you believe in taking flu shots do not please do not give me backlash on that same goes for the COVID. I do not believe in taking the COVID shot. Yes, I was one of those that said I would quit my job if they forced me to do it. Because it hadn't been around, the shots have not been around that long, you all. And you all do not know what the circumstances are of those. Case in point, the shot that my daughter took. Later on, they found out that it does make young people infertile. Okay, that is scary when you know that your child dreams to have a child of their own. And yes, there is adoption out there. And yes, they've done discuss that. If the shot made them infertile, they will adopt a child. But that is not the case in point. Each and every person knows. No matter what, there is nothing like having your own child. Plain and simple. Yes, I know there's plenty of children out there that need to be adopted. I support that 100% as well. If I had money to adopt children, I would. I would, of course, adopt older children because I am an older person. I do not wish to raise an infant because I'm too old to raise an infant. But I would love to get a pre-tween and stuff like that and help finish raising them with whatever problems they have. But I don't have the money to do so. And I don't have the space to do so. Um, with that being said, please do not give me backlash on this for me stating how I feel. But anyways, my daughter did, she is starting to want to have children. Which she's at that age where it is normal. She is 23. The guy she is with is 24, 25. So, yes, they're wanting, they're discussing it. And then she's seen some of the outfits and stuff I have for baby Sarah and Aphrodite and Alcy. And she's like, oh, mom, you need to save that for me in case I ever have any kids. That's where I was going with that. So, anyways, I got this, I got this cute little outfit that I thought would look cute for Memorial Day, uh, 4th of July. You know, just that time of the year. I love the reds, the navy blues. I love that it's kind of got a nautical theme to it. Uh, my boyfriend, 
he loves nautical themes. Uh, he hasn't got to see this outfit yet, but I think he would like it. He's getting to where he's a little more supportive on me having my babies. And then it come with a red diaper cover. And, uh, anyways. And I'm learning the sizes of this company. Because this one's like a three month. I have one month ones. I'm not real sure what size I need to get you all. Uh, she's able to wear newborns and three months is the biggest. Uh, I have sadly learned that she cannot wear one piece newborn. And what I mean by one piece newborn is the ones that got legs in them. Like the pajamas or the onesies as some of you all call them. Uh overalls it's got that are one pieces she cannot wear those uh i had got several which is the whole reason why i'm going to be cleaning out uh the baby's stuff and there's going to be stuff for so for sale and i haven't decided if i'm going to share on youtube or not if i don't i will um give you my facebook information so you all can or well, the Facebook groups that I'll be sharing them in. So y'all can keep an eye out for it. Maybe. I'm not real sure how I'm going to do that just yet. I really don't. Anyways. Um, but I've got to clean their stuff out. I've, I've worn it a little overboard. Especially on the girls' stuff. Because I knew that I was getting a baby that I can dress as much as I want to. Yeah, I know I have to watch out for her making her shiny and all this other stuff. Um, I've done watched plenty of videos on how to re-varnish them and stuff like that. And honestly, I think I'll just send her to the op, back to the artist if she is willing to re-varnish her for me if she gets shiny. So, but she has been in this outfit since March. I haven't, it's because I haven't been home to change her, so... Or when I am home, I just want to cuddle her. So, and then there's days I just come home and I sit and I watch a little bit of TV and I go to bed. I've, my job's been keeping me really, really busy. I've been working 12 hours, which is an open to close shift. Uh, it's retail. I have gotten very exhausted. So there are days I come home and I don't even eat. Uh, but hopefully soon it will start getting better after August because uh, uh, the store that I am now moving into, we are moving locations for it in August. So we'll see. Hey, there's a little horsey running across in front of this barn. I love this escape, you all, because it's a farm theme. Uh, as you all know, I'm wanting to do a farm theme in my nursery when I get a chance. I don't know if I've showed this box. I think I have. So I'm just gonna. It's the one that's got the baby shark in it. I'm almost sure I've done the video on this one. I'm pretty sure I did the video on this one. Uh, if I haven't, let me know in the comments. I'm almost sure that I have, though. So I'm not gonna redo it. Because I remember pulling the baby shark out and showing you all now this one is new I just got this one in not too long ago like I said she is very nice about uh, saving outfits for me and letting them build up to where they're and I've done open this I got it in here the other night she sent this headband as a thank you which is absolutely gorgeous I have a lot of outfits that that would go with and I do make my old head, my own headbands as well. And then she sent another card. And I thank you for supporting my small business card. And then she's always got those little stickers on there too. And then here's one of her little outfit ones that she sent to me. 
she's got her own website that takes you straight to the outfits and also will show babies that she has available but that's some of the outfits that she has she's got I've got this little outfit over here I don't know if you all recognize it it's the little gray Scotty and yes I did get it from her I think I got it from her. I either got it from her or got it from Rebecca Cunningham. I did get several outfits from her, which is, uh, I can't remember who I got that one off of. I think I did get it off of, uh, off of All's Nursery. I'm not sure, you all. This little outfit I couldn't resist. I have this thing for outfits that remind me of the time when my kids were little or when I was little. So, this is brand spanking new. It is not vintage, but it's got the little apron on it and the little embroidered flowers and the little, little detailed lace, little eyelet-like lace. So cute. And then it's got the little I like lace up there. And then it's pink and white stripes. Just absolutely adorable, you all. And then it's got the little headband that goes with it. And then there's the little diaper cover. It's just adorable. I can't resist outfits that remind me of a time when my kids were little. And that outfit, let me see if I can see what size that one's supposed to be. Zero to three months. So. Um, this little outfit definitely reminds me of outfits that my girls had and that I had when I was little. It says, I love my mommy. It's got a little elephant and a baby elephant on it. And then it's got embroidery flowers up on the lapel area and a little butterfly and it's got little buttons down the front of it and this is three to five pounds so it's got that and then it's got the little white with pink polka dots diaper cover this outfit I didn't order it when I first seen it and then I went back and I was like, oh, I really like that. I think I am going to go ahead and get it. And it's a size three months. Um, it's that buttery soft too, kind of like the Pete and Lucy. Uh, is it Pete and Lucy? Pete and Lou, whatever. Y'all, I'm tired. I'm sorry. But anyways, it's that buttery soft material. It's got... Anyways, it's lemons. I need hangers to like quickly hang this up on so y'all can see it. Um, it's got the little flowers on it that are like on the lemon trees when they bloom. And it's got that little cute plaid yellow and white bows that go across it. The little butterfly sleeves. That yellow. I thought would look good on her and Aphrodite. So, and this outfit, my youngest one thought I got for Alcine. No, I did not get it for Alcine. I actually got it for Sarah. I know when you all see this, you're gonna think boy, and I may eventually use it for the future little boy that I get. But I couldn't help it. It's an embroidery train. I like trains, you all, as well. And I thought, I can girl that, girl that up. I can juice it up and make it look girly. So, I won't do nothing to change the outfit, but I can add, like, a headband to her hair and maybe put that blue that's in the, that's in the train detailing there on the pipe and stuff like that. You know, I can put one of those little onesies under her. You know, I can juice it up and make it look girly. If I don't, well then, you know, it's okay. 
I'll eventually use it. I, I really liked it, so I couldn't help it. Um, the reason why I can't use it for outside is it's just, it's not small enough, you all. It's just literally not small enough. He is strictly a newborn preemie baby. Whole reason why I will probably, and this is for a three month, and that was the smallest size she had. Um, I, did, I will probably get me when I go to buy the ba a baby boy. He will probably be three months. Uh, just because I want to be able to, you know, for the most part, everybody's got three months clothes you don't have to worry about looking for the preemie or the you know but and then I got this little outfit um, this is the top it's white it's got the yellow gimme on it and then it's got a little yellow rough wonder that complements it it's kind of I don't know if you all can see that but it's got like little embroidery bubbles on it as I call them and this one here is a one month. See why I'm so confused on what size I need to get her. Uh, and then it's got the cute little flowers all over it. That's yellow and green. And then it's got more of this ruffle. It's got the little poof bubbles on it. And then it's got the bow in the back that matches the top of it absolutely adorable well actually this is the front of it you all so it's cute absolutely cute and yes I've got another Easter outfit here um, that we'll use next year I've got the little knitted rosy color dusty rose color bottom little shorts and this adorable little bunny hat see the little bitty flowers on it so cute and then inside we've got the little flowers and on the inside it's a little floppy bunny eared hat I thought it was so cute and uh, I have like a lavender and an ivory and a light rose. And then I also have some of these like pinks and blues that's in the ears. Body suits that I can put in underneath this. Because I don't have a belly plate or anything like this for Sarah. I'm not big on babies that have those. And that's just me. But there's the detail of the lacing. that will eventually be a little nice photo shoot with her next year. And she did offer to send that out to me immediately, you all. I, once again, I, I like slaving on boxes and stuff like that and on shipping and all that, so. And then I got this little outfit. It's a heritage heirloom outfit. I love these. These for sure 100% remind me of outfits that I had when I was a baby and that my mom had when she was a baby. And it got passed down to my little girls. Um, this is a, I don't remember what size I got in this. She does have creamies. I think it says zero zero on the size, so I, I'm not sure what size that's supposed to be. But anyways, I got that for baby Sarah. I just fell in love with the little, and she's got a couple more coming up that she's uh, that are going to be available to order that I'm going to get. She's got a few more now. These outfits are not cheap, but you got to think these are embroidered and handmade and stuff and. Anyways, as you can see, it's one of those shirts that pulls over. It's a diaper shirt. And then it's got a little accent bow on the side. And the little pink accenting on the arm sleeves and down at the bottom. And then the legs of the bloomers as well. 
but she's got a few more of the little dresses and stuff that I am eventually going to get. Um, like I said, those aren't cheap. Um, I think I paid $36 or more for that one little outfit. And I'm okay with it because I know the quality of it is good. Um, she does the outfits that she sells and stuff is good quality. I have never had a problem with any of the outfits I have gotten from her. Um, I do have a couple that I will be getting from her if they are still available. Uh, that one of them, if I'm not mistaken, is $56, but I'm willing to pay the price because I love it. It's just absolutely adorable. And the work that went into making it is absolutely adorable. Um, I hope whenever I get the spare money up that she still has it available. If not, I'll just hold on to that money and wait until something else comes along that I like. But, uh, I do buy quite a bit from her, as you all can see. Um, I actually think I got a couple of boxes that I haven't, that I still have put aside. I've gotten like three or four boxes from her and I've shared each and every one of them with you all so you all know the outfits that I've gotten from her I do love buying her outfits she does now officially have her website up and running to where you all can order from her as well and I'll make sure I put that down in the description so you can go over and support her she is a nice sweet lady to work with um, I have not had experience working with her on her babies because um, I do not have that many babies. I've only experienced working with babies with uh, St. Cloud Nursery and uh, Born to be Wild. And unfortunately I cannot remember August's artist's name at the moment. Uh, and she was a good lady to work with. She was as sweet as she could be. I have been very lucky and very fortunate that everybody I have dealt with Minus the lady that I was getting box openings from. But she was still sweet too. She had health issues going on. And I understand that. It just, it took a lot longer than I wished that it had took. But everybody I have dealt with buying stuff and getting stuff and getting my reborns, I have been very, very blessed. I have not had a bad experience with anybody. Everybody's pulled through and made my experience so far wonderful and I which has made me want to continue in this hobby I cannot wait until we get a bigger place so that I can get the babies that I do want and touching on that I'm gonna let you know hey I do eventually want to get another little boy to go with her um which will be my human babies, as I call them. And then I want to get a boy and a girl clown uh, reborns. One of the, the little girl is going, I'll probably talk to an artist and get her custom. That will probably be the only custom that I have. Uh, due to the fact that I'm wanting something special on her face and stuff because of the name that I want. Uh, I may end up making those two cuddle babies if at all possible. Um, and granted, I know they'll be alternative babies and I won't be able to mess with them much. That is perfectly fine. And then I do want to get some true fairy uh, babies eventually as well because I love fairies my room when I have the space to decorate it is is done up in gothic fairies so I will probably have me some kind of gothic fairy babies eventually that are reborn and then I'm eventually going to get me an open eyed little girl and an open eyed little boy uh, this little girl re represents my youngest daughter. The open eye that I get 
which I would have loved to have the one that this artist that made her, which is Rebecca Cunningham, I would have loved to have had this one little girl that she, because it reminded me of my Otis daughter. First of all, I, I, I haven't experienced silicone. I'm not going to say that I like it, that I don't like it. It's just, I'm not rough with my babies, you all. But I feel like maybe I'm a little too rough for silicone because to me that's just like glass. And then if I was to ever get a silicone baby, I would want it to have the armatures and the legatures and the all the movement possible. I'm not interested in the drinking wet system. But, you know, I, I, I would be very highly interested in all the body movement that it could possibly have. So that would raise the price extremely high and that's another reason why I haven't considered silicone is because I know it would be extremely expensive for what I would want. So I'm happy with the vinyl babies. Uh, the artists that I have had, their, the texture on the babies are wonderful, like Sarah's texture is buttery soft. It just, it feels like real skin. It's just amazing. Rebecca did such an amazing, wonderful job with Sarah. Um, Alcide and Aphrodite, they have got beautiful skin textures for the alternative babies that they are. They are soft. It's got a little bit of texture up around their hair and, you know, it, they're amazing. And, of course, they're top-rooted, which is awesome. She did an awesome job on their hair, uh, which I do need to fix whenever I change them. They are still in their St. Patrick Day <laughs> outfit, you all. Um, I'll probably wait until May to change them, and I'll change them into a pretty springy outfit. Anyways. Like I said, I have been extremely blessed in the reborn community with everybody I've dealt with. I've read the horror stories and I couldn't even imagine. Some of them would probably make me want to get out of them completely. Get out of it completely. But uh, I have been very lucky. I've been very blessed. Um, and then I've thought about toddler babies as well. I ha I, I'm kind of on the fence about that. I don't know if I want to uh, toddler boy and girl yet or not. But those are babies that you all, if you continue to follow me, have to look forward to on box openings. Because those are for sure babies that I am getting. Uh, I'm getting another closed eye little boy. I'm getting open-eyed little boy and girl, and I'm getting a set of clowns, and I'm getting a set of gothic fairies. So, but those are way in the future, you all. The one that is the closest is the possible... It will either be a little boy, or it will be... The little girl that is open-eyed that reminds me of my oldest daughter. So, it's just something to, you know, keep an eye out for those that mainly really love box openings and not so much of clothing hauls. So, anyways, um, thank you all for coming by and watching Sunflower Nursery videos. I will remember to leave it to where it's not for children so you all can leave me comments, questions, suggestions, whatever your heart desires. Um, God bless. Sending good vibes to all my fellow reborn collectors, moms and dads. I'm wishing you well, and I'll see you soon.